Okay guys, um, this is going to be an update. As you can see in front of you, this is a tablet that I've gotten in, this is like an update from back from August of last year to now, and we're in April, as I'm filming this right now. Some of these films I don't, uh, these pickups I don't remember if I showed already, but we'll, we'll see. I'm pretty sure I haven't, um, I mentioned this, but I haven't showed it. It's the HP uh, 7 inch tablet, I, th I believe it's the touchpad awesome little device but uh do have a problem with it and that is that um the when you go to the, to the play store you can't always download everything you want that's one thing and it's kind of boggles the mind because uh i've seen lesser phones they have lesser um capability but they're still able to play certain games Besides that, uh, the operating system hasn't been upgraded for uh, quite some time right now. I think it's an either ice cream sandwich or jelly bean, which kind of upsets me with HP uh, products. I do like their build quality. I do like their style, but they, they always have a problem with the operating system. I even think in their, their uh, laptops they do. For some reason, there's some problem with them when it comes to the operating system. Now, let's talk about some films I've, I've gathered over this time. And I... I got quite a bit and if I've talked about some of these films in previous videos I am sorry I just can't remember all of them and I haven't I didn't look at my previous videos beforehand so I just picked up a bunch of movies and I think that I didn't show yet and that's what I'm going to talk about and here is the American Werewolf in London awesome film uh, I believe there's an American Werewolf in Paris and uh, I I enjoyed this one better, but I do want to see uh, Lon uh, Paris one because I, I, don't, I don't remember it too too well. But still, highly recommended film if you're into uh, those uh, mythological creatures. Winter's Bone with Jennifer Lawrence, uh, one of her earlier fl uh, flicks. Um, wanted to, heard good things. I wanted to see it. It was you know decently priced, cheap. Groundhog Day, awesome film. Bill Murray fan, um, love his, his stuff. Always, I, ca I could always watch anything that Bill Murray's in. Cujo, awesome. Suspenseful film. Kind of felt sorry for some of the characters, like the dog. Uh, if you've seen the film, you know why. Okay, now I got some Criterion that I've gotten back in the uh, when there was a Noble sale in September last year. The the moment of truth. And the spy number on the moment of truth is an Italian film that's in color. Spy number is 595. And uh, yeah, it's an Italian film from 1965, 107 minutes. Aspect ratio is 2.35.1. Awesome film, actually, by the way. Great cinematography, great gritty, um, just awesome all around if you're into um, Italian films. Three Outlaw Samurai. If you're into the samurai flicks, definitely check this one out. Looks amazing on Blu-ray. It's in black and white. I mean, I didn't think a black and white film could look this good, and it, it definitely shows in this Blu-ray. Cartoon did an awesome job with this one. And the spy number on this one is 596. That is a weird coincidence because this one's 595, but I didn't mean to do that. The letter never sent. Uh, I bought this also at the same time because they had a, th you know, you buy two get one free. So I got one of these for free. And uh, this is the Russian film, letter never sent. Heard good things. Uh, haven't watched the whole thing yet because you got to be in the mood to watch this film. And it's a uh, spy number six oh one. Awesome flick. Um, did like the cinematography, but uh, I need to watch that film all the way through and it's not even that long I don't know why I couldn't watch it I, I guess I was doing something actually I, the good thing too is when you watch films you want to watch them with someone you enjoy that joins films too my mom watched this film and she enjoyed it I um, mean and she's not that huge of a film fanatic but she she does like her films especially if they're in Italian or Spanish the outlaw samurai outlaw, I actually watched this with my brother he's a samurai f uh, fan as well he enjoyed this film he loved it and then um, the killer, the killing, sorry, 
I'm a Stanley Kubrick fan, so I had to get this one. This also includes The Killer's Kiss, which I did have previously, the DVD. But uh, that one wasn't in that Criterion at, at the time. And I, I wish Criterion did that. They split it up like they actually had those. But this is what they had. And uh, Spy Number is 575. Uh, I might have talked about the, the killing. And I'm sorry if I have. And I'm mentioning it again. I don't know why. So there's some more films that I want to talk about. Lee Mielsen Unknown, one of my favorite actors, Lee Mielsen, so I had to get this film. The Children of the Corn, horror uh, flick. Um, I know I can get the whole uh, trilogy in, in, on this, but uh, I wanted just to get, you know, I'm not too big on getting uh, like a whole compilation on, on you know, on one disc of a, of a series. And then the next film is the David Cronenberg, The Fly. This is my actual second David Cronin film that I own so I'm highly, highly recommended a uh, remake um, I'm a huge fan of David Cronenberg and I just don't know why I don't own more of, of his films so so yeah Clock Orange another Stanley Kubrick and the same thing with Stanley Kubrick I'm a huge fan of Stanley Kubrick I don't know why I don't own more of his films but I'm starting to build my collection yeah I cheaped out on this one because this is the I believe this is the cheapest version of, of a blu-ray that you can get right now in the market but I definitely wanted to um, get this one with my battery so let me hurry up 